My good people, we have the new Huda Beauty Foundation and Easy Blur Primer. And I picked up two different shades because I did a pickup order. I didn't actually go in store. So I'm, I'm curious about the shades. I'm usually 220N custard uh, in Huda Beauty, but I feel like that's been a low light. So I got 240 as well. So that's what we're doing today. A full day wear test on this product. I'll take you with me throughout the day. I'm actually hoping to do maybe a little fire pit with the kids tonight. So I think I'm gonna be able to put this foundation to the test. So let's start this. I was really hoping that my local Sephora would have the Makeup by Mario powder in stock, but I just have to order online. I wanted to include it in this video, but this uh, Easy Blur Silicone Free Smoothing Pore Minimizing Primer is $29 and it is best for dry combo, normal skin, fragrance free, a matte finish, uh, helps pores, and I'm excited because I love this glowish blur jam. And from what I understand, it's discontinued. I really, really like that one. And I've heard that this one may be similar to that. So I am curious about this. I'm gonna do one side with the primer and one side without. I am so excited about this release because I have seen a lot of just people raving about the product. And this I think is the first product with Huda being back, the CEO of Huda Beauty. So I'm just curious, curious about the formula. It feels a little bit more wet and slippery, but almost watery, slippery. It's interesting. It is more of a gel formula, but it doesn't, Again, feel silicone-y at all. Ooh, I like that. I think I'm gonna like it. We'll see, obviously. This is supposed to work really well with the foundation. Okay, moving on to the foundation. I have here Toasted Coconuts. This is the 240N. The packaging is nice, simple. This was $30, $38, $37 actually. Medium coverage, natural finish. Liquid formula, niacinamide, and I've seen this um, just online, seeing before and after, and looked really nice, very blurring. And lately, I've been all about blur. I just want my skin to look blurry. So let's try this shade. This is the 240. Ooh, I think that's going to work really well. I don't even think I'm going to open the 220. That one, the 220 is supposed to be a little lighter. So let's just go with the 240 and put it on this side. The texture feels creamy, doesn't feel very liquidy, but it doesn't feel very thick either. Oh, they also came out with a new brush and I didn't pick it up. I have so many brushes that I absolutely love and it seemed like it was a big boy, <laughs> so. Okay, that looks beautiful. I usually have normal to dry skin, but lately because of the summer, I've been having more of a combo skin, quite oily in the T-zone, and then the rest is still kind of dry or normal. Um, so we'll see how this works. The color is really nice. Let me look up close. I do think the finish is a natural finish. I don't think it's glowy or matte whatsoever. I actually love the finish. I think my favorite finish is a natural finish. The kind of just resemblance, resemblance is, is that a word? I It just looks like your skin. <laughs> the coverage is medium. I agree with that. There's a few imperfections and not necessarily freckles. I feel like it kind of covered the freckles quite well, but a little bit of imperfections here and there. So this is with a one thin layer and then with nothing. I mean, I think it looks beautiful. Really, really nice. Did it set down? I still feel it on. It hasn't completely set down. I'm just gonna give it a little bit more time to set down. But so far, that looks really, really beautiful. 
Okay, I am loving this. We will use the Huda powder as well because that's what they recommend. It's like the trio, the concealer, the powder, this. I mean, I guess there's four of them, the primer as well. So again, this is the side without a primer. Let's do the other side that has that primer. My biggest concern is just pores. I have quite large pores in this area. So I'm really curious to see how that primer works and if it will help with the pores. I think it blends in super easy, very um, skin-like, yeah. And I like the finish a lot. I actually think that because of the finish, this would work for quite a lot of people. Like the Patrick Ta is just for dry skin. I would not recommend that for anybody that has even combo skin, oily skin, maybe normal, but it could be a little glowy for them. For you, you guys that have more normal skin. Okay, that was so fast and easy to blend in. I was so excited about this foundation. I've seen it around for quite some time and I'm like, where is it? Why can't I purchase it? And finally it's here and I ran, well, actually I sent Andrew to pick it up. I placed a pickup order and while I was editing my other video, I was like, can you go and pick it up real quick? I feel like I've been working so much lately. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with the new releases. Obviously not all of them, but there's quite a few that I'm very excited about. The West Manitilia Concealer, which I have right here. And I'm so tempted to use it today, but no, we're going to use the Huda Beauty Concealer. And I'm going to do a video on this one, compare it next to uh, the Victoria Beckham one that I ordered, but that hasn't shipped yet. But I have been using the West Manitilia and I uh, love it. <laughs> like, love it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do that because I do post some quick reviews on products and just deals and things like that. It's just easier for me to communicate with you guys there and give you insight of, you know, how things are going. Where is my foundation? Oh, right here. Okay, so this is one thin layer. Let's look up close. I see absolutely no difference with a primer and without the primer. Like none. <laughs> I don't feel like my pores are smoother on the primer side. It looks the same to me. Yeah, absolutely no difference. We'll see how it lasts throughout the day. Should we build it up just a little bit? I'm just curious about uh, how much you can layer this. I'm going to do a little bit. I love the packaging. It's very easy. You just squeeze it. The product comes out nicely. I don't even think I've showed you all these details because I got so excited. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm trying to record this part while it's quiet in the house because it will get quite chaotic. I sent the kids outside to play. And so we'll see how long that lasts. Actually, they've been outside much more lately because it's it's not as hot anymore. So it got it's just nice, you know, it's enjoyable to be outside. So they're out there with a bunch of other kids. I am loving the finish of this. Absolutely gorgeous. You see, I have the little sunspot there. It doesn't fully cover it, so it's definitely medium. If you want full coverage, you may have to go with concealer on top of this, but I'm loving, loving the finish of this. All right, guys, let's zoom you in and see how this looks. I think the finish is very natural. It's a very skin-like. I love this so much. The coverage is a true medium. I didn't struggle building it up. I tried to, like I mentioned, to build it up a little on a cheek and I didn't think that it built up to a full whatsoever. Maybe a little bit more coverage, but I think just from one thin application, you get medium coverage. 
The finish is perfect. It is absolutely perfect. And I think a lot of people will enjoy this finish compared again. I keep comparing it to the Patrick Ta because that's the last foundation I tested. And this is so polarizing and I completely see why it can be so glowy and oil oily almost. Uh, wow, my hair. <laughs> but this one seems to be just more even, kind of calm really really beautiful okay let me go finish my makeup i will use the huda beauty concealer i haven't used it in a long time and that one is full coverage but i'll be very gentle with that and i'm going to powder with the huda powder as well actually why not let's just do this together i'm just putting the tiniest bit of the huda corrector under my eyes this i think it's in the lightest shade these are very intense so you need the tiniest bit. And then I have two colors of their concealer. This is the um, Coconut Flakes and Cookie Dough. I think I'm gonna do the Coconut Flakes. This used to be my go-to concealer, but I have not used it in a long time. Maybe just a little bit here on my chin. Mm, maybe right there. I think that's it. I think that's all we need. Blending this in because I know this has quite a lot of coverage. I don't want to take over from the foundation. So I'm putting very little concealer. My face tickles. There's something there. I will take a little bit of the cookie dough. This is darker and put a little bit here to blend into the other color. I really don't like a bright under eye. So I'm mixing those two together. Wow, that concealer is so good. <laughs> I forgot about it. But you have to be gentle with it. Don't add too much because it has good coverage. Okay. Still a little bright here, but we will make this work. Let's take the powder. I have here the color Peach Pie. And I'm just gonna use this one. I'm taking a little puff, taking some of this off and setting the under eye. I don't think I'm gonna set the rest of the product just because it's pretty. I don't feel like it's too glowy that it needs to be set, but just the T-zone. Oh, I feel like I need a lighter shade of this powder. It's so blurring though. Definitely more intense than um, the Givenchy one. But you can see how it definitely darkened a little bit my under eye, which helps right now actually. Here is the base all done. We have the primer on this side. We have the Huda foundation, the concealer, the corrector, the powder, just Huda everything on my base right now. And I have to say it looks kind of flawless, not full, full coverage, but I definitely feel like I'm very blurred, very smooth. I'm actually really, really liking it. Is it heavy? I feel a little bit heavy just overall with the powder, the concealer. I definitely will spray my face to make sure everything is meshed in. But I do think the skin looks really, really nice. And I have a feeling like this will last throughout the day. Okay, let me go finish my makeup and I'll show you the finished look. Here is the finished makeup and I'm going to tell you real quick what I used. I used my Valentino bronzer. This is just the universal bronzer. A house lap blush. This is the French rosette. I just wanted everything powder and kind of not too glowy i didn't want to disturb the foundation so i put just a little bit um, mascara is my chantecaille mascara on the eyes i have a little bit of my west Menatelier stack this is the new matte one and then on the lip i have this trio right here the glossier lip liner in buff a little bit of the 
Oh, I actually think I have the wrong shade. I'm actually not 100% sure which one of these I've used. The Anastasia, oh, I think it's the Softly Lip, Lip Velvet. Um, a little bit of that in the center and then the Natorium Lip Balm in the shade Latte. So that's what we have on our face and let's look up close. Oh, by the way, I did set my face with my Tear Tear setting spray. Here is an up close of the skin. This is the side where I put the primer and with no primer, do you guys see any difference? I kind of don't right now. I don't feel like the primer looks any better than the regular one. I think the skin looks really nice. Definitely a natural overall blurred effect. Um, oh, I did forget the, to mention that I used a little bit of my Hourglass Avail setting spray. I shouldn't have done that because this did, definitely gives a little bit more hydration and I kind of forgot. It was just habit. So I did add a little bit of that. So if you see some glow, I feel like it's from that. I may add just a little bit more powder right here. Actually, let's do that now. A little bit of the Huda Beauty and powdering this center area. Just a little bit. What do you guys think of the skin? I really like it. I think it looks beautiful. I definitely feel like I'm wearing makeup and it looks like I'm wearing makeup. I feel very perfected. And I think for Huda Beauty that normally they have pretty thicker foundations, heavy duty, a lot of coverage. For them, this is a more natural foundation, but it's still not very natural. In my opinion, it looks quite perfected, quite blurring. Uh, it looks like I am, I have makeup on. That is obviously not a problem because it doesn't feel thick and heavy and I don't think it looks thick and heavy, but I definitely feel quite glam right now wearing all of this makeup and I think the finish is absolutely beautiful. I am trying to feel my face and I don't feel like it's 100% completely matte and dry. It kind of feels like a set moisturizer. Um, so we'll see how that how that sets throughout the day. Obviously, wherever I powdered, it's powdered and set down and matte. I don't feel like it's sticky though and wet. Feels like it needs to set down a little bit more or it may just need to be powdered down, but I'm gonna leave it like this. I don't want too much powder. I already feel like I have quite a lot of coverage on my face and a lot of makeup, but it is quite, quite perfecting. I think that is it for now. I will see you guys in just a little bit with a natural light check-in. First check-in, it has not been long. It's been 30 minutes to an hour maybe, but I wanted to show you in natural light how it looks like. Um, I think it looks really pretty. Like I mentioned, it doesn't necessarily look like I have nothing on. It definitely looks blurred and perfected and it feels like fuller coverage than just medium. It looks a little glowier on the camera than it is in real life. I feel like right now it looks natural on the skin definitely feels like I have full glam on, I won't lie. It doesn't feel like very natural, kind of everyday makeup. It feels like I am blurred, like I have full coverage on and I have, I'm have i full glam. So that's kind of how it feels and I think it kind of looks that way. You don't really see any of my issues, my freckles or things like that, all that it's covered. So yeah. It, it's pretty. It definitely makes me feel very perfected and like I should go somewhere right now. Um, and yeah, I don't see a difference between the side that doesn't have a primer. This has primer. This does not. What do you guys think? Yeah. I think it looks the same. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. So Andrew is about to make me coffee. Put your head in. Okay. <laughs> It's kind of a weird setup because it's I guess he, yeah, it's under the counter. Um, and we still have decoration from my daughter's birthday party. But I thought I would just show you how he's making me a cappuccino, which I'm very excited about. And how does my foundation look, Andrew? Looks very smooth. Smooth, right? Yeah. 
Like blurring? I would even say blurring. Does it look like I have makeup on? Yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's start the coffee. Okay, Andrew is preparing the coffee. Tell us the tragedy with our nice espresso machine. Okay, so um, over time it started, it took longer and longer to fill up the boiler and we found out it's a certain part which isn't in stock any place I've looked. So we're waiting for that part to come in so I can replace it and uh, hopefully that'll fix the machine. So in the meantime, I use this to steam milk because it can still kind of get enough water in the boiler to work, but not pull shots. So instead of pulling shots on that, I um, pull the shots on this, which is a manual lever espresso. It's a really good one. It makes actually flare. amazing espresso. It's probably better than the nice one, right? Yeah. 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 It uh, it just takes longer, so he's going to show you the love he has for me to make this for me twi <laughs> twice a day. Well, you have to heat this up. This is the um, cylinder, and this is the port of filter. Okay, we're going to skip this because it's loud. He does measure the beans, goes in this, and... You may mute it. If I'm nice, I'll mute that for you guys. And then there's got a puck there. I usually shake it to distribute it decently. I just put a screen on top. And that goes there. And the water, the kettle's already heated, so I'll just heat up the cylinder with this. Makes you it much can faster. heat it up with just like hot water. Yeah, usually you pour hot water into it and then pour the hot water out and then you'll pull the shot after. It's pretty hot to the touch. And this is the pressure gauge. Um, as I pull the shot, I can kind of measure how much pressure the shot is. Usually I go for like six to eight bar. So now this metal is very hot. I heat up, I pour the water into it to the top. And this kind of pops in like that. And as I pull it down, you'll see the pressure gauge kind of spike up. And I'll try to keep it in the middle there. It's a nice creamy espresso. Actually, when we travel, we always bring this one uh, so we can make espresso. In the hotel room. And you room. get nice bladder everywhere. Yeah, it can drip. That's the espresso. It literally is splattered yeah, it squirts everywhere. If it's not a greatly. This is an old, like it's pretty old. Like we've it's had like it six, for six, seven years old. Yeah, yeah. And it works just like new. It's all, it's all cast iron or metal or something. Yeah. They've come up with like, steel, sorry. yeah, they've come up with some pretty cool new designs. Yeah. Yeah. He measures every single thing. What is it? Four grams? Five grams. Yeah, about five. Five grams. And I usually put collagen in there as well. There's the collagen and what collagen do we use? I think we just get it on it's, Costco. It's like the blue one, the blue circle one. Yeah. It works. Okay. Milk. Fair life. How many Whole grams? Milk. She likes 150. 150. If he puts 140, I'll be able to test it, taste it. Yeah. She's like, you shortchange me. She won't notice that though. Are you sure? This scale is actually a really nice scale. This it's little booger is present. so expensive. And I dropped it once. We had to repair it. Okay. And now we actually get to use the espresso machine yeah. to fluff up the milk. To 110, right? I do like 150. Okay, never mind. 150. I think we're in that red area. That is the reason why I don't make my own coffee. Okay, now this is the best part. This is the most stressful part. Because <laughs> she'll, she'll do a really big smile or a medium smile, depending on depends how it goes. of the design. Yeah. It's a good design, Andrew. It's pretty good. Yeah. And this is... Fox. It's a fox. Where? I don't know. This is the design. You like it, mommy? <laughs> and that is the coffee right there. That took way too long. Um, how long does it actually mm, take? Five or six minutes. Yeah, but if we had the machine working, which we will hopefully in a couple weeks, three and a half. It would just take. Yeah, he knows. Three minutes. Yeah. It's not that long, but it's worth it. I even made cookies the other day for my daughter's birthday. So I heat one up, 
have my coffee and the foundation still staying strong interested it's very blurring you didn't say bye 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 okay second check in in natural light and this may be my last in natural light because the sun is about to set it's quite bright if i move here the sun is ready to set but let's zoom you in here is how the foundation is looking like i think it got a little glowier nothing crazy nothing like the patrick ta but i definitely see it being a little glowier which makes me wonder how this would look on really oily skin i'm not sure about that the forehead around the chin area i did play with some lip products this is the abh velvet lip in softly i think and the makeup forever in anywhere caffeine i brought my little mirror here too inspect everything yeah i mean i don't love the concealer can you see i feel like it kind of it looks heavy and it kind of got into all my little creases which is so crazy because this used to be my go-to concealer so i think maybe the concealer is just a little just thick for me but i do like the skin a lot like i don't see it breaking apart or moving at all like there's no, no no movement except the glowiness there's just glowiness in, in the t-zone more than anywhere else um i'm looking here to see if there's any difference between the primed one and the non-primed and i think the pores look just a little smoother on this side the one that had the primer but not by much it definitely looks just as glowy on both sides um i don't think the primer kept it more matte but i do think maybe it made it a little a little smoother around the pore area but so far i think the foundation looks really nice let's move back out i think if you have normal to dry skin it's gonna work for you maybe even combo right now i have combo and i do want to powder the t-zone a little bit i feel like it's very dark i'm sorry uh, i do feel like i want to powder um a little bit the t-zone but nothing nothing else but yeah that's the powder i will do one more check-in at the end of the day <laughs> It is nine o'clock and I've had this makeup on all day. I've done lots of things today. It's been, it's been a busy day. We've been outside a lot, which is really nice. And we had a nice fire with the kids and I smell like, I smell like fire, which sucks because I need to wash my hair and it's only day two or three of hair. Anyway, foundation. That looks beautiful. The foundation looks absolutely gorgeous. Let me look up close. Yeah, it looks so good. The concealer, I don't love as much. It definitely has moved a little bit and creased quite a bit here, but that's besides the point. The foundation has not separated, but I can tell that it's worn a little bit here. Not so much on this side, maybe a little bit. Um, but again, I sat like this, I, I've done a lot. But on the forehead, everything looks pretty much the same. There's not a lot of movement on the nose, on the pore area. Okay, so let's look at the side that had a primer and the side that did not. I don't think I see any difference. Yeah, I'm looking really up close and I don't see any difference whatsoever. I'm gonna try that primer with other foundations and see if it'll work maybe with the Patrick Ta or some other ones. 
But yeah, I see absolutely no difference on the side that had the primer or not. The longevity of this foundation is incredible. I feel like I could just powder a little bit and I could wear this for another eight hours and it would look it would still look good. It has not separated on my chin. It hasn't separated pretty, pretty much anywhere. I see a little bit more wear and tear on this area. And that's just because I probably touched my face quite a little bit. Definitely glowier, but nothing bad. Nothing like, I keep comparing it to the Patrick tab, but the Patrick tab, nothing like that. So I really think that Unless you have super oily skin, I think that you could wear this foundation. You may have to powder maybe once throughout the day, but I'm loving it like a lot. The way this wears and the finish, it kind of reminds me of my Prada foundation. I don't think the formula is the exact same. Prada is definitely thicker and more kind of creamy, but the way you see the finish, the finish that the Prada has, I feel like this has the same similar finish, like a natural finish. And I really like it. And I feel like the coverage is very similar. Obviously, the Huda is half the price also. So I think it looks wonderful. It is a great foundation. I think a lot of people are going to like it. Who's not going to like it? Honestly, I think if you have more mature skin, you're going to like it. If you have drier skin, it did really well over some of my drier patches. If you have very oily skin, I don't think you're going to like it. I think it's just going to be too oily for you. I am very excited about the foundation. Even Andrew was mentioning how blurry my skin looked and everything. And I love the packaging. I think it's going to be perfect for traveling. I'm going to Romania and I feel like this would be the one foundation that I could bring and it would work for pretty much any occasion and the blurring primer i just couldn't tell a difference but i will continue testing this out and seeing how it works so yeah that's it for now i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video bye